If you can start capturing packets on a network, you're going to see a lot of information. Everything that goes across the network is going to come across in those packets, whether you're on a wire or whether you're on a wireless network. The secret is getting into that data, finding the tools, and being able to see what's inside of it. Unfortunately, many people still send traffic through their network in the clear, not encrypted at all. So if you're able to grab the packets, you can then see everything that's going back and forth. You can read people's emails. You can see the websites they visit. And you can view all of the information that's going between those two devices. If the network is wired, it becomes a little bit more difficult to capture that information. You have to get some type of physical connectivity into the network. And in some cases, on many switch networks, you have to reconfigure the switch in order to see that information. Otherwise, you're doing things like ARP spoofing or ARP poisoning, and they have their own disadvantages in those particular situations. You may hear the term sniffer or sniffing to describe the process of gathering those packets from a network. The term sniffer is actually a registered trademark of a product called the sniffer. That product was so popular that now we use that term almost generically to describe the process of gathering packets from the network. With wireless networks, it's incredibly easy to gather packets because when you send out traffic between your machine and an access point, you send it to the world. You're sending radio signals out, and anybody who's tuned into that frequency can also see those radio signals. You have to be quiet on the network to be able to capture these packets. You can't be sending out traffic from your analysis device. The analysis device has to stay completely quiet and not send traffic because if it's transmitting, it's not able to hear anything at the same time. That's why you'll notice if you turn on a packet analysis device on a wireless network, a a lot of them are designed to go into a quiet mode that sends no traffic whatsoever. An off-the-shelf wireless adapter is not guaranteed to be able to function that way. So you need to look at the documentation of the packet capturing software you're using and make sure that it will work to gather those packets. One of the most popular packet gathering tools is this powerful network analyzer called Wireshark. And you can download it for free and try it yourself. It's open source and available for everybody to use at Wireshark.org. If you want to prevent somebody from gathering packets and being able to see your private information, then you need to make sure your wireless access point is encrypting the traffic. So use something like WPA or WPA2 to accomplish that. Do not use WEP. I know that there are legacy devices in the world that all they do is WEP. But if you want to be sure that all of your data is absolutely private, you need to avoid that encryption type at all costs. There's also encryption that you can do to a web server. So even if you're on, for instance, an open Wi-Fi access point at a coffee shop or a restaurant, you can use HTTPS to make sure that you are sending encrypted traffic between your machine and a web server that's out on the internet. Of course, not all web servers on the internet will communicate with you over an encrypted link. So you might want to build your own. Use something like OpenVPN or Hamachi to make sure that you're using a VPN tunnel. So at least anybody on the wireless network would not be able to see your traffic. There are also a number of public encrypted tunnels that you can use. Two of the more popular are UltraSurf and the Onion Router, which we often call Tor. But they have their own security concerns associated with them. Although you are encrypting the traffic over this wireless network, somewhere on the internet somewhere that traffic is being decrypted and put onto the internet in a plain text form. And whoever is at that access location where your traffic is being decrypted can see all of that as it's going across the network. If you're planning to do anything on a wireless network, or you want to be sure that your traffic on your wired network is not something that people will be able to see with their packet sniffing attacks, then you'll want to use some type of encryption to communicate using your applications and services.